Basin Gridiron Training Camp brought to you by Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. And we continue with more Basin Gridiron Training Camp coverage. Now we're talking about the Pecos Eagles. The Eagles finished last season with an overall record of 5-6. and six. Also, they finished third in the district at 3-2. and two. And last season didn't, didn't quite end how Pecos wanted it to as they lost 77-14 to in the first round of the playoffs against Seminole. However, they've been up in classification to Division I from Division II, still in 4A. Some players to watch this season, quarterback Colt Salgado and linebacker Joel Aguilar. One big thing about the Eagles this season, coach Armando Martinez will be leading the squad as interim head coach after Scott Williams was let go. Martinez was a coach already on staff, coaching the linebackers and has developed a lot of relationships on this team. Well, he was my linebacker coach my freshman year, so I mean, I've been close to him since freshman year, and uh, now that he's the head coach, we get to hear a lot more from him. we got a good new coaching staff. Coach staffs feel like they've been here for two years already. They just fit right in. Always wanted to be a head coach. So I, I have an opportunity. I'm also excited that uh, the staff that Coach Williams had brought in, they all decided to stay, so... You know, those are good people to have around. He's more energetic than what we've, what we've been used to. Um, just pumping us up a lot more. Uh, it's, we're having a lot more fun out here. It's, it's time to go. And Dave Campbell's Texas Football Magazine predicted the Eagles to finish third in the district behind Andrews and Big Spring. And when it comes to guys returning, there are eight on both sides of the ball. And the Eagles will open their season on Friday, August 30th, on the road against the Snyder Tigers. 